Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. It's Alexis, your Pamper Chef consultant, and I am gonna be making some cabbage roll soup. My mom gave me some of the ingredients. Yeah, 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 she said I had celery. I'm like, all right. So I looked on the internet and they had a little bit different than what she has. So I'm only doing a small amount because I'm making mine with ground pork. I got 10 ounces of ground pork. We're gonna chop up that uh, cabbage. I already took off the top of leaves and rinsed it off. Then we're gonna be doing some uh, onions, which this one was ready to go. So I just chopped some of it. We'll do some more chopping. One thing of celery, a small thing of bay leaf. We're gonna do some thyme and onion because it does have some paprika in there. I didn't have any paprika in my um, cabinet. And then we're gonna add some beef broth, some tomato sauce, some diced tomatoes, Worcestershire sauce, and down there is our garlic and salt and pepper, which is way over there. So anyway, thanks for coming in. Again, my name is Alexis, if you don't know. Uh, you can actually look at any of my um, broadcasts from the past under Alexis C underscore can do, because I use it as a hashtag and all my stuff is available on there. We are uh, live here on TikTok. It is Saturday. I think it's October 8th and uh, this will be uploaded over to YouTube. So if you're watching this on the replay, thanks for watching over on YouTube. All right, so let's get the show on the road and uh, I gotta flip us around here now. Let me, let me flip the camera and mirror my image. All right, mirror, mirroring is off. All right, I don't even know what I look like y'all. All right, so um, I'm looking like a hot mess. Hello everybody. Thanks for coming to my kitchen. It's Alexis. I live here in Southeast coastal Georgia and I teach you how to use your kitchen tools along with recipes so you can make what I'm making at my house at your house. Hey Aiden, how are you doing there? All right, so I got my pan, my pot here. I'm actually loving this pan because this is a perfect size for like cooking for two or four, but it is the enamel cast iron and it is the, it's the small one. I have the Dutch oven, but I'm thinking the Dutch oven's gonna be too big because I'm only making the soup for like four servings. I only have 10 ounces of, of ground uh, pork. You can use this with ground beef, so don't jump your horses, okay? We are making cabbage roll soup and I should put this somewhere so that you can see it. I don't know how you can see this really easy right there right I should hang it from the ceiling and say there we go we're making this right so uh, let's keep that I don't know where we can even keep that there are cabbage roll soup I don't think you can see it way back there so anyway I'm gonna put this the lid over to the side here because we don't need the lid yet and it is enamel caster the cast iron's around here when you clean this it cleans up like a breeze uh, but you do when you wash it you do need to uh, dry this otherwise this rim will get uh, rusty on you uh, let's see I already made rice for Am I on, on the right one? Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta make sure my thing is, I would clean my stove before I went live, y'all. Sometimes the pilot um, lid gets a little askew. All right, so we're gonna be putting in, we're gonna get this nice and hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to my pan, uh, just so it has something in it, all right? So thanks for coming in and sharing out. You can do a couple different things. You can tap hearts. Uh, you can even uh, tap the like button. You can share out to five of your top of your friends. You can uh, follow me. I do broadcast on cooking. All right, and all the tools you see today are available for sale. The link is in my profile or message me and I can get them to your house. All right, so this is gonna get nice and hot, but we gotta chop some more stuff up right here. Let me see if I can angle you down. You don't have to see me, but you wanna see what I'm actually doing over here. So this is a celery. I already washed it off, but my mom likes to have the top layer of this taken off because it is very fibrous and it's a little bit tougher to cook, to eat if you're elderly or you don't like that stringy feeling on your celery. So just take that top layer off. You can save this for later and put it in your uh, vegetable soup stock. Yeah, we have a little bag in our freezer and we can save all this and cook from it. So I'm gonna put that over to the side. Uh, let's just get a bowl. We'll get a bowl and put our scraps in there that we don't need. All right, chop off the bottom because we don't need that part. And about an inch from the top also because that's just dried out all right we're gonna slice this up and we're gonna do it pretty big slices on here because we don't want them to be very small we want to have have the taste of it in our in our our soup so just slice it in half all right and we're gonna chop just a little bit here. And again, I'm just doing soup for like four servings maybe even six my mom doesn't eat a whole lot and I did want to do a whole like servings for eight because oh my gosh we'll be eating it for days yes i can freeze it but then i won't be able to come live here on tiktok and show you uh how to cook other stuff so i'm just doing a small batch like a half a batch or a little 
little more than half a batch. All right. So my pan's getting nice and hot and we're gonna be putting in some ground pork. And again, you can use ground turkey, you can use ground chicken, you can use ground beef, ground lamb, okay? But we're just using, I what my mom likes it um, with ground pork, all right? That's what we used to uh, make cabbage rolls or halupkis if you are, uh, uh, I'm Lithuanian and uh, my mom's Irish and we lived in a community that was a lot of um, immigrants from Lithuania, Poland, Yugoslavia. And so we would call these holupkis, I think, which were stuffed cabbage rolls. You get, get your cabbage and steam your cabbage and then get them and get the meat and roll it up and then put it in a tomato base. And it was cabbage rolls. But instead of doing the rolls, cause I'm not that kind of person, I'm doing the cabbage soup, it's a lot easier. Hello, Wendy, how are you doing, girl? Thanks for following. Uh, make sure you uh, say hello. We have 96 people in the, in the thing. And if you say hello, I can give you a shout out, okay? Like we just said, uh, time to jiggle. Just popping in to say hello. Hey, time to jiggle, how you doing? Uh, thank you, all right. And thank you for sending the rose there, uh, Aiden. All right, hey, Pam, how are you doing, Pam? All right, so we got our meat in here. We're gonna chop that meat up. Let me get a, I need to get my mix and chop spatula. Yeah, this is a new tool by Pampered Chef. You can actually drain your stuff off. You can scoop it up and put it in tacos. All right, it's just like the mix and chop, which is this one here, that you've all, they all have this at your house. This is the perfect one. This is like the best, but they came out with this one. So either one works. This one makes great imprints on cookies and pie crusts. And uh, I only use, I've only used this one uh, on the screen. You've seen me use it. You know, move this around. Ah. All right, so the one thing is when you cook your meat, Make sure you just let it sit, and then we're gonna mix and ma match it all up, all right? So we're getting that nicely cooked up, our meat down here. We are making, here, type this out. We're making this. All right, and uh, we're gonna get our onions now and just give those a good chop. And again, I'm not chopping these very fine, so I'm just using my knife. And I want them probably about an inch thick. Do that and one more. Yay, there we go, we got it. And some more onions. So I need to go down halfway. There and chop again. So basically a mirepoix uh, is a um, celery, carrots, and onions, but today we're skipping the carrots and we're just doing the cabbage instead of the carrots. She didn't say anything about the carrots, and I didn't see any carrots on any other recipes. So, there we go. Just chop, chop. This one looks like it needs to be chopped a little different. There. And yes, I'm using a Santuco knife. I like my Santuco knife. I like it better than a chef's knife. It's smaller. You can hold it better. Um, just FYI. There we go. Chop that down. And now, chop one more. Few more, and I am all done with that. I just don't have a little core in it. Get that out of there. All right, so all my celery and carrots are all, or celery and onions are all cut up. There we go. Let me see. Hey, I just found your channel. Thanks for the recipe. You're welcome, uh, Cassie. Uh, let's see, the real Lisa Marie. Hey, how are you doing? She's making cabbage. Thank you, Lisa Marie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it when people come in and help me during my broadcast because sometimes with the knife, you can't read all the comments, all right? Hello from New Mexico. What are we making? Cabbage roll soup there. Hey, uh, ooh, uh, thank you, says De uh, De De Deanna. Deanna, what is it? What are you making? Okay, there you go. Okay. All right, so we all know. We're <laughs> I think I got the comments. I'm right, going backwards here. Hey, Pamela. All right, Aiden sent the rose. We got that one. Hello, time to jiggle. Yep, hello, uh, Matt. Links. Oops, get out of there. Decline. There we go. Hey, the real Lisa Marie. Hey, 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 hey. Thanks for calling. Thanks for coming in. All right, so my meat is cooking up. You can see it's nicely browning right here. I'm going to put you down so you, I, 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 I can still see your comments, I think. Hello, hello. So we got this. We're going to chop this up. Either one works. All right, there's a lady over in um, Vancouver area that loves this thing. She was looking for one, she found one at, at, a, at a, a thrift store. Didn't work as good as this one. This is the original Pampered Chef one. And it is like a block 
Alright, so we're just going to cut this up. We want to get it nice and brown. You can see my edges are browning on here. There we go. Now, still a little pink. We're going to add in our veggies now. And this mixes up and mashes it at the same time. Like, it, it, it just breaks up your beef or your meat. And I'm, do, I'm using ground pork on here. That's why it's so white. All right. Ground pork has a lot of flavor. And again, you can use ground beef in here if you want. Ground turkey if you want. If you want to leave and be out there. All right. That one's good enough. All right. I'm done with this one. I was just showing you a difference. All right. And then this one here, I can like scooch up that little bottom. Those little remnants down there. I don't want them to burn. There. Just scooch them up. And there's not that much grease in here, so I'm okay. I really don't have to add anything else. We're going to add in those um, peppers or the uh, celery and onions right now. I'm just going to scoop it up and add these babies in there. And again, I don't want them really small. I want them more a thicker texture because I'm going to be doing my uh, cabbage the same way. There we go. Got that. And we're going to get some, let's mix this up. Got the celery and the onions in here nice it's beautiful you want to get that meat nicely golden brown so it brings out when you have oh i'm sorry good trial i'm declining that one i need that all these these tools are all available for sale just message me and i can get them to you all right i'm a pamper truck consultant for the past almost seven years and i want those um I want the onions to get a little more translucent and maybe even some caramelization on it because it gives it more flavor all right, so we're going to be using a uh, garlic press. Best tool ever. Don't ever buy that garlic in a jar. You're just going to put the whole clove in here with the paper on it and all, and then squeeze it through. Just squeeze it. All right, that one was a really big garlic clove, and some of it squished out the back. Yeah. Ah, I did it too big. Too big of a piece. But anyway, let's get that part out. Too big a piece, Alexis. You are like in a roll. You're on a roll. All right. Now, even with these pieces, I actually got it all out. Um, with these pieces, you can even save them and put them in your uh, your soup stock. So this one's a pretty big garlic clove, like huge. It's bigger than my thumb. All right. So I'm just gonna slice it in half and see how we do with it. Just doing it in half. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Oh, so much easier. And this is fresh garlic. Not that stuff that you don't know when they pressed it and put it in the oil. And you can actually um, do the same thing. Do up a whole thing of garlic and put it in a little baby jar with olive oil in it for the whole week. That works too. And this one is already out of the paper, but let's see. There we go. Let's see. Nice garlic. The back of your knife. Shape it off. And um, there's a little brush that comes with it. You just pull that out. And you can get... Oops. I lost, I lost a little piece. No, we didn't have to take on this one. Get that out. Yeah. I don't think it's in there. If not, oh well. All right. So done with the garlic. Just two big cloves of garlic. You guys have plenty of flavor. Don't, don't. You don't have to put the um, mix the garlic up right now uh, because if the garlic goes on the bottom, it's gonna burn. So put the garlic in last. All right. So we got that. We're gonna do up some cabbage because we're doing cabbage roll soup. Take off the two layers, rinse it, and then we're going to cut it up. And I'm just going to do a whole big chunk of it. Right there. Oh, I almost lost it. You don't want to use the core of it, or the chutney, as my, my dad would call it. Yeah. And I'm going to use just half this um, head of cabbage. About half. Because again, uh, and here's that chutney part that I don't want to use up. My dad used to like to eat this part, but we don't we don't really use that in the, in the soup part. Yeah. But I did get it all out. Okay, don't use that part. All right, so my meat and all is all browning up. Ooh, you can see it's getting nice and brown on the bottom, but that'll all come out, all come through. So we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients and then add in our cabbage. Hold on a second. I'm going to add in some cabbage while we're here. Oops. Now the cabbage, you want it to be bite-sized pieces because it will melt down, but you don't want a big old piece on your spoon. 
you want to be able to um, put the cabbage on a spoon. Okay, so just cut it up into small pieces. If it's too big, cut it in half again. Got all that. And then I'm doing about maybe four cups of, of cabbage or so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty easy. The difference between my cabbage soup and the ones that are on the internet, uh, most of the internet, internet ones have beef in them and I am using um, pork, ground, like ground pork or minced pork. Got it all. Alrighty. Again, I don't have any salt and pepper in here either because we're going to be putting uh, some beef broth, which has a lot of sodium in it. Alright, and this is all going to melt down. Doesn't matter how you put it in, as long as we put it in, alright? Now we're going to add in our cans of stuff. And I'm trying to do this fast. It's just it's supposed to only take like uh, like 20 minutes to make this. All right. I am using uh, tomato sauce. My mom, she um, she said she put uh, tomato soup in here, but I am not a, a Campbell's. I'm not a fan of Campbell's soup, so we're using tomato sauce. And I'm going to be using a can of diced tomatoes. All the way around, flip it back, pull it up, let it good to go. There. And now we're going to add in our beef stock, which is about two cups of the beef stock. It can even need to do more. This is where you're going to get a lot of flavor. If you have your own homemade beef stock, you go right ahead. But there is a lot of sodium in, in both the tomatoes and the beef broth that you, I'm not probably going to do at least three cups of soup in there. You can see that it rinsed it out for us too, because I do, um, let's put a little more in this one. Swish out all that tomato sauce. There you go. And we will rinse these out and put them in the recycle bin. All right, so now we have everything in here, except for some seasonings. Now this one here is a miracle worker. It's Worcestershire sauce. And we're gonna put a good half Two and a half uh, a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. There, it just gives it another level of flavor. Oops, wrong lid. And I'm going to be using the Pampered Chef thyme and onion. It does have some paprika in here. I didn't have a plain um, thyme, so I'm going to put in here one teaspoon of this seasoning in here. There we go. There. And most importantly, we need a bay leaf. I'm using the half of a bay leaf. We're gonna put that in there. And that's pretty much it, okay? Put this in. And we're gonna wait until all that cabbage melts down. We're gonna get the bottom of it and all those nits, uh, uh, what is it called, the fond at the bottom of it, because we did have some like little browning on the bottom. We want that mixed in there too. So this is cabbage roll soup made with ground pork and then we're going to add in a little bit of rice i already cooked my rice up my meat is in big chunks should cut my meat down a little bit more but i was talking all right so there we go that's looking good y'all this is looking so good hopefully my mom likes it that's all i'm, I'm at that matters is my mom likes it my mom she, hello everybody i'm gonna go back and watch your look at your comments now hello it's alexis i'm an independent consultant for pampered chef i live here in southeast coastal georgia and we're making cabbage roll soup today say that again yeah oh which the tomato soup i don't like canned tomato soup so i'm using canned tomato sauce and canned tomatoes 
I took her around and call it Worcester. I know, I can't. Worcester sauce. Yeah, I know. Terry, I'll tell you what. That is the hardest word to say. <laughs> all right, I'm going back to see your comments, all right? Uh, oh, time to get Jiggle says she loves my videos. Thank you so much. If you like them all, if you like this one and you miss any of them, you can go in my link and I have all these live TikToks uploaded over to YouTube. Uh, thank you for uh, the, oh, hey, Ray. Hello. Ren Ray, how are you doing? Uh, Deanna says, hello. We already said that one. Okay. What you making? Cabbage roll soup. Hello, Pink Bay 21. How are you doing? Hey, uh, let's see. Uh, so tap hearts. Just tap that screen. Share out to five of your friends. I'm not even saying 15, okay? I'm just saying five. Uh, let's see. There we go. Hello from New Mexico. We got that one. Hey, just found your channel. You know, thank you for finding it. And uh, thank you, Real Lisa Marie, for helping out. Uh, let's see. I think I'm up there. Gula Gulumpiki Soup. Uh, you know, it's... um. Okay, the Polish girl, young girl. We call it Holupki. Holupki. H-A-U-L-P-K-I-E. Holupki. Holupkis. Uh, let's see. How much How much are they, Alexis? Which one? Which ones? How much is what? Uh, great tools. is cracking the sidewalk to me. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Bex222. How you doing, girl? Uh, let's see. Hello. A.K. Robbie. A.K. Robbie. Wish tire sauce. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hello from Austin, Texas. How are you doing? Hello, California. How are you doing? Hello, Terry. Thank you for sending the likes. So much cabbage and noodles. Uh, cabbage and noodles totally different. Cabbage and noodles. Uh, that's yeah. The cabbage and noodles are really good. My mom likes that. And then you put some, um, say, Polish uh, smoked kabasi in there. Cabbage and noodles, girl. You, you go. Yeah. <laughs> She'll want that now that we mentioned it. Okay. Uh, the cabbage and noodles, yeah. The cabbage and noodles are, uh, it's actually, it's also a Jewish thing, but you know, we all, we're all intertwined up, up in that, uh, Slavic area of Europe there. Uh, <laughs> the cabbage and noodles with the, <laughs> tell you, oh, this is coming to a boil. Now we're going to let this sit for a little bit. All right. And I'm going to get all my stuff and, and put it in the wall, in the, uh, sink here. There we go. And we're going to let that boil. I do have a little bit of beef broth left and I may add some more in there, but we'll keep that out for a little bit. All right, we got that. All right, I'm ready to clean up everything. Look at that. Thank God. Let's get that a little bit there. All right, let's move you over and, and do some, I think my grandfather smoked his own kibosh. Oh man, that was really nice of him to do that. If you had somebody that made their own kibosh. Um, I actually have a friend, uh, his name is uh, Lucky and uh, it's for Lakashunas. He actually has a kibasi shop in Shenandoah, Pennsylvania. I went to school with the guy. And here he's making his own kibasi. You know, we used to uh, use the Kavalonix, uh kibasi um, in Shenandoah, but now I'm, I'm down here in Southeast Coastal Georgia and we don't get that fresh kibasi up there. Uh, how much is a wish charge? Oh, uh, just a table. I use a tablespoon, give or take. Give or take about a tablespoon. Okay, of uh, the Worcestershire sauce. Now, if you want to make it a little bit darker, you can put the browning um, uh, a sauce uh, in there also, but I didn't do that this time. You're welcome. The Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon. So, I, and I'm only doing a, this is for like probably four to six. I did not want to do a whole pound because one, I didn't have the meat. I just had 10 ounces of ground uh, pork. And the original recipes, all the recipes online call for a pound of this and half a pound of that. And I was like, we're doing 10 ounces of ground um, pork. That's what I had. I'm from PA. Grew up near Polish Hill. Best food ever. I don't know where Polish Hill is. I was in Shenandoah, Northeast uh, Pennsylvania. Northeast Pennsylvania. Wilkesbury, Scranton area, but it was a little bit further south, like Hazleton, Pottsville area, if you know where that is. All right. So let's get this out. Got this. That can go in the garbage. Garbage is right behind that wall there. Let's rinse out our cans, and then we put these in the um, recycle bin. What day of the week do you have garbage in your in your neck of the woods? We we the garbage picks up here on Tuesday morning, so Monday we have to put it out. So, got the two cans. Let's put them in the recycle. Okay, and I got to be at work for four o'clock, and it's almost three, so. We'll be working really 
Yeah, I got my work shirt on. We see me in red. I got the work shirt off. I was on the south side. On the south side. South side of Pennsylvania, like like west, southwest. South, south side. I always, always um, like, I always say when I'm here in Georgia, because Georgia is a very big state, um, in the southeast coastal Georgia, which is right above Jacksonville, Florida. Monday mornings for you too, Aiden. Oh my. Ah, Monday mornings, yep. Gotta make sure it's all out, you know, otherwise you're holding on to that dirty garbage for another week. All right, let me get these done because I'm gonna be eating and running. But it doesn't take long for the soup as long as, long as the um, soup Aiden sent me messages. It froze, LOL. Uh-oh. Am I freezing again? I don't remember anybody saying they're freezing here on, on that. Hey, Kristen Stuckey's in the house. Kristen's up in New York. How are you doing, Kristen? Follow Kristen. She does um, pink zebra a lot. <laughs> there we go. All right, like that. Like this. I opened up the thing and I, these scissors break apart so you can clean that inside right there. And then you put them back together. Yeah. And oh, now we have, uh, this one here is really easy to clean because it comes with this little tiny brush. And you just put it inside a little soap. And it goes in the little holes of your, of your, um, garlic press and it will clean it out from there. It's pretty easy. If you don't have a garlic press, I highly recommend it. It's the first step to cooking fresh, is using fresh garlic. Okay. All right, done all that. We can put you back over because I am all done cleaning dishes and I got three minutes at three o'clock. I got to leave by 3.30 to go to work for four o'clock. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have, hi there. There it is. All right, so now is the taste test time. There we go. Oh, this is looking really nice. I'll probably let this sit for a little bit. That This bay leaf needs to do with some magic. And again, you cook it. Uh, let me see, this recipe over here says, prep time is 25 minutes, cook time 25, total time is 50. And um, I made four servings here. All right, and we're making cabbage roll soup, but I used my own recipe. Oh, one more thing. My mom says to add a couple tablespoons of rice, and I already have the rice cooked up. I cooked it up this morning, and she said just add like a couple tablespoons of rice in here. So I'm just gonna add in, she says three or four tablespoons of rice. Now the rice will absorb some, let's do four, um, four servings. One tablespoon of rice, all right? And I gotta put that in a container. Um, the rice will absorb some of the liquid too. All right. So just a couple tablespoons. If you have leftover rice or um, in there, if you, if you don't want to use regular rice, then use uh, cauliflower rice would work too. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Let me get a, a little bowl and see how we are. All right, got a little tasting bowl. I need a smaller tasting bowl than that. This one. And my scoop. This is, this is a great thing. If you like serving lasagna and the, not having it fall off to the sides, this is great because you can go right in. Let's get some other stuff and scoop some stuff up. Let's get that. There we go. And we have a little bit. Taste test is always the best. Uh, we did not put any salt or pepper in here because we had a lot of salt in the beef broth. Don't think I need any. Mm -mm -mm. It still needs to cook. The cabbage is al dente right now. But the sauce and all, yeah. The soup part, perfect. Perfect. Just needs to get softer. All right. <coughs> yeah. All right, let me look at your comments. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit medium high. Uh, you have to have the rice. Yeah, you have to have the rice. And I'm gonna, if we need, we can always add more rice 
right before we're going to eat it so it doesn't absorb all the liquid otherwise we'll be adding more beef stock in there you're welcome Kristen back now there you go all right yes yeah, so we did we did add a rice and I, I just did jasmine rice and I made it with a little bit of I hate to say chicken stock and I put a, a piece of garlic clove in there and I just cooked it up. So the rice is in here. Looks like I might need a little bit more rice, but I don't want to put too much rice in here and then absorb the liquid because this is perfect right now. All right, let me get this off. If your uh, scrapers by Pampers Chef turn yellow, like this one is, you can put it out in the sun and it'll bleach it right back. Like this. Uh, this, one's cleaning, this one's cleaning up pretty good. This one's cleaning up pretty good, but I can get it whiter by putting it out in the sun. All right, so anyway, thanks for coming in and spending a little bit of your time. I'll take a picture and then I will upload it over to YouTube so you can see it in the entirety, all right? You have done the same with stuff. Yeah, we can do the same thing with stuffed pepper soup, exactly. It's all pretty much uh, soup is soup. This cabbage versus, versus green bell pepper. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for coming in and spending a little bit of your time. I appreciate it. Let me flip this camera over. Uh, can I enhance this? There we go. Flip the camera so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to let this simmer for a little bit. I'll put the lid on, go um, uh, finish up getting ready for work. And I will be back probably tomorrow because I said I was going to go live at least uh, five out of seven days a week. And today we made cabbage roll soup and it is looking really good. All right. So thanks for coming in, everybody. I will see you all next time.